this is my first line of stitching so this this quilting this is the quilting it attaches all three layers I went with the idea of using the Sachiko thread and I'm using red thread and large stitches and I'm using a, uh, a chevron shape it'll be a series of, of chevrons but those choices, the choices between threads or designs is very minor uh, when you think of the big choice whether to hand quilt or machine quilt fewer and fewer people hand quilt to me that's what quilting is all about the patience the time it takes the operation aspect of it but people are in a hurry and uh, they want to whip out the quilts and so uh, there are ways now that you can have a computer program attached to a machine quilter you create your design your quilting design and off it goes I'm not interested in that at all it seems like you're missing the whole fun of doing the quilting. Well, it's beyond fun. It's, it's transcendent. The way that you just kind of disappear with your needle in, needle out business. The machine quilting, although you can vary the patterns, the stitches are almost identical. There are two schools of thought, though, about the approach to the hand quilting. There's a, a, an approach to hand quilting, pretty much the quilting the technique that is, is largely used now, which is to have it be exact. There are lots of opinions about how the hand quilting ought to be and how small the stitches ought to be. Uh, can you have seven stitches per inch? It takes a tiny needle, a good thimble, and a strong hand. I never, I never approached that. But I, I kept going along and I quilted mainly um, on either side of each seam. And that's kind of the traditional way to do it. You can use a template, a perforated template, that you can then follow. You can mark. So usually you mark your where you're going to stitch, your hand stitching line. Uh, it's, it used to always be done with pencil, and then you would sew along that line. So there's a definite way. You want it, you want it perfect. Then I met Joe Cunningham, who believes in freehand quilting. You just take off. You just start sewing. Off you go. When I had him look at some of my grandmother's quilts, the first thing he looked at was to see if there were pencil lines. To him, the real test is, can you eyeball it? The the result is quite different than sewing along a pencil line. So this row of stitches, if I marked it with a ruler and a pencil and sewed along those lines, it would have much less life to it than when I'm just sewing along following my eye, you get a slight waver. Things develop, things happen, you get irregularities. Uh, you'll be able to see that better when I get farther along with the quilting here. But that's the charm of it. 
That's the beauty of it. Something you're never going to get with machine quilting. So there's two aspects here. There's the aesthetic aspect when you're talking about quilting. And there's the, the personal, psychological, spiritual aspect when you're having your adventure with the needle.